Hey everyone, it's Kaylee. What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am about to leave for work in just one second. That's Destiny Poops Shampoo. The Ferminator. Um, I'm about to leave for work in a second. I come to my mother's house every day to give my doggy her medicina. And then I just did my hair just a little oof, oof, oof down. A little bobby pin here, bobby pin there, bobby pin moment. My cousin did my nails. I'm going to put my mic on a little bit. I'm also going to work, so I'm going to vlog working and whatnot. So please stay tuned. So there's literally like a main street over here and everything is always happening there. Um, so yeah, there's always something, whether it's construction, someone getting killed like last month someone got killed and I, I don't know what happened to them but i think so, yeah someone actually did kill them because they they got decapitated so yeah there's a lot of stuff that happens here no i don't live in like a ratchet place i guess you can say i live in the suburbs i'm probably like 30 minutes from la i'm in the ontario chino rancho area so to be honest like it's not a bad area. There's just, it's just like any other place. You could have some weird people do some really weird stuff. So, yeah, you just gotta stay out of stuff. But I guess he was like a homeless man or whatever. And like, yeah, just put his clothes on for a whole minute, like a couple days. And then there's always something going on, like some construction. And especially a lot of people speed here. Because they, I don't know, they want to race on the main street. Like, that's so smart. So there's always like car accidents happening or like I literally was just stuck on a red light. Not it wasn't even red, it was like green. But uh I was stuck on there for like a good five minutes because uh the person in front of me had no gas in his car and then nobody was letting me over, so it's like, okay, I guess. So then he had like AAA come and get him gas, but you know, that's kinda dangerous. I used to do that and I used to be like, oh like it's okay, I'm cool, like, it's okay, like, it's okay if the gas is low, and then, like, I don't know, now, like, I will not keep it low, because I just, like, you don't know people, and I've gotten followed, I've gotten chased, and I've almost gotten sex traffic before, so. I'm gonna go to Target right now to get some lean cuisine for lunch. So, yeah, I always keep my gas up there, because people are weird. And, like, when you need to make a quick getaway, you can skirt out in here, so. Yeah. So, I'm going to be early for work. Always to be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is unacceptable. Um, Sometimes, though, I could be a little late sometimes. Not that often. But, like, it's normally because of the construction. Lean cuisine. And then I'm going to get the chicken alfredo. Because it's just so, so good. Mm. What's the difference between that and that? Probably nothing. Nothing. I'll just get this. I don't like it too, and then I just microwave them for work. And then my job's literally just a couple doors down. Okie dokie, so it's the second day of my little vlog. Um, I was doing mainly haircuts in this one, so I didn't really want to vlog haircuts. If you guys need help with like specific haircuts, I guess, like sure. But yeah, so I'm going to be opening up my Inner Sense Organic Beauty Order. Um, I do have a lot of people that they like all natural stuff. And whatnot, my hair is happy and healthy. So I get a lot of like this. I only get this. I get a lot of Matrix products and then I get a lot of Biolage products. And then, you know, I sell them. It says I ordered 
three hydrating hair baths, three hydrating conditioner, three quiet calm, and then a serenity smoothing cream. Yeah, I wanted to try this smoothing cream. I've never tried it, but my sister has a fro, and she is absolutely in love with the quiet calm curl cream. And um, Victor is who? Victor is her boyfriend. I guess you can say fiance now. Or fiance? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's gonna marry her. So, he likes it too. He told me that he likes it because it holds his curls while not making them like frozen. Like, he likes the movement his curls still have. I don't know why they shipped it in two boxes. And then I normally get the leaders of the shampoos and conditioners, and then I show them, like, on my clients. I'm like, oh, this is Innersense Organic Beauty. It's USDA certified organic products and whatnot. And they're like, oh, my gosh, I love it. Or, no, I like my chemicals. So, like, for, like, my curly hair clients, they like stuff like this that I've noticed. And then for, like... My color clients, I do like Olaplex, K18, Biolage. So I got three of the Quiet Calm Curl Controls, and then three of the um, Hydrating Cream Conditioners. And then I also got. Where is that? Where is that? Donde estas? Three of the Hydrating Cream Hair Baths. I do still have a liter of the shampoo and conditioner, I believe, in my other house. And then I have one, I think, in the RV because I turned um, an RV into a salon. So it should be in there. And then this one's supposed to be like anytime you blow out or you're styling, it's supposed to make the hair dry a lot faster. Achieve a smooth, flawless blowout with this nutrient rich lotion. Baboba oil, frangilla pani, I have no idea. Help lock in moisture, provide care for thermal exposure, and straighten strands without weighing down hair. Vitamin rich avocado and coconut oils nourish hair while smoothing the cuticle to reduce frizz. Ideal for all hair types and textures. So, I really like theirs. This is like very like meditating type of style. It says like hair ceremony. Take a deep breath and become centered. Apply a small amount to wet hair, raking with fingertips from roots to ends. Blow dry and heat style is needed for a smooth blowout. So, this is clothes. I didn't realize that. But I do like their products. A lot of them do smell really, really great. I got this one because I just wanted to try it out before I order the big size. But it was cute. It has a cute little simplistic packaging. They also do 1% for the earth. They're PETA friendly. And most of the bath ingredients you can read, like water, something alcohol, something, 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 something. And then, like, in parentheses, that tells you what it's derived from. Cocos nu kefra? Then it says coconut oil. Then this one says Helenius something, something. Then it says sunflower seed oil. So, like, it tells you, like, the scientific name. And then it tells you what the products derive from. So, yeah, I'm going to make a video on this brand pretty soon because they're really great. I love them a lot, and they make quality products. They are a little bit on the pricey side, but they are USDA certified, and they are vegan, cruelty-free, and 1% for the planet, and they are organic. So if you like more of the organic stuff, please DM me. I can definitely ship you some. You can get some for me. You would definitely need to get your hair done for me. I just absolutely love this product because... I just feel like, you know, when you shampoo your hair in the shower or, like, condition it, all the chemicals fall down on your body. And I know a lot of people like organic stuff, so it's, like, the chemicals don't really go down on your body. But um, I do, like, rotate, so I normally use this once and the Olaplex one time, and this once and the Olaplex one time. Because I don't like using the same shampoo and conditioner, because I feel like when you do, it doesn't work as effective as alternating your shampoos and conditioners. So this one's really great if you want to try this brand um please let me know comment down below what you would like to see i am doing salon vlog videos i'm going to be doing hair videos um makeup videos 
vlogs. I'm just going to, I'm going to be going ham because I keep telling myself that I'm going to do it. And I just, I just have to because I absolutely love social media and I love the beauty community as well as the plant community, the makeup community and the hair community. And if I can share hair tips with you guys that you guys will use and it will help benefit your hair, I would absolutely love that. And if I can recommend products that I like, even with makeup, and it makes you want to try it and you love the products too, I would absolutely love helping you guys pick out products. Because I do watch a lot of hair and makeup videos and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to try that product. And then I try it and I'm absolutely in love with it. So I hope you guys are liking my videos so far. I got a mic and everything like that. So if the paper is a little loud, I'm so sorry. But I wanted to have a more professional looking video. So I hope that you guys are really enjoying it because I'm enjoying it so far. And please continue watching. And since we're already here making this video, I'm going to finish off this video because my next video, I'm going to be doing a Brazilian blowout. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that Brazilian blowout and how I achieve the results that I would like. Um, but for this video so far, I'm also going to tell you what products I like and why I like them and how great they are. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far and please continue watching. So for foiling the hair, some of my favorite products are Frame Art foiling stuff. I mainly get their pop-out sheets because sometimes I'm lazy and I really don't want to pre-cut these. And I like the pop-out sheets because they come in the exact size every single time. I do have these ones out because I'm trying to get rid of this roll because, again, I don't like the rolls. I find that they're more time-consuming. I like the fact that they're more customizable, that you can make, like, a big sheet if you would like. But I really do love my normal pop-out sheets that I have in the other room. And I like them because... If you need it to be longer, just add another sheet and you can just pull it out super fast. But when you do this, you kind of have to prep. So it all depends on your preference. And honestly, if I'm not doing anything and I don't have clients at the time, like maybe like 10, 15 minutes before, I'll be like ripping out these. And I like that for that. But when I'm busy and I am jam packed, I do like using the pop out sheets. When I'm not, I do like these ones. I also like the Reynolds foils. They're more like an industrial type of foil, I guess. Or like industrial, where I mean like, it's like industrial strength. So, like think of like industrial washing machines. They're just super strong, nothing can break them. The Reynolds ones are like that as well. But I like the Freemar ones because they come in cute little designs. I probably have 15 different designs and my clients absolutely love them. They are a little bit more money to have the designs with them. I think like this is like 20 bucks where the ones with the designs are like 25 or something like that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's around that ballpark. But the faces you see from your clients, they absolutely love the fact that you use colored foils. And I think that gives it a very welcoming experience. And it gives the client an experience that they won't forget. Like... I had a boring stylist who used boring silver foils. Oh my gosh, remember that one stylist I had that they had a different foil every time I went there? I think it just makes the experience a little more enjoyment, joyful, I guess you can say. And then, like I said, the Emersons, I like that, or Innersons, I said it wrong. I like that for my curly hair clients as well as my clients who want to go with the more natural remedies, because natural does work as well too. And then when it comes to color clients, I like my K18 and my Olaplex. I love K18 because it repairs your hair on a molecular level. It's going to repair the bond and it's going to help repair your hair from the inside out. And then I also like my Olaplex because that is another really, really great bond builder. And I believe that's why my hair is so strong because I rotate amongst Innersense, Olaplex, and K18. I do different treatments and... I believe where the K18 targets, the Oloplex targets a certain thing, and the Innersense targets a certain thing. I absolutely love it. My hair stays vibrant for a lot longer. And I also love Matrix and Biolage. Biolage is a product made from Matrix. Matrix looks really, really great, and I absolutely love them. 
um, Biolage had this keratin-infusing shampoo and conditioner, and it was in a silver container. And it was absolutely my favorite, but they reformulated it. They have a whole bunch of new stuff. So now I've been using this Biolage that comes in a white container, and it has a purple and a green thing on it. I believe it's for moisture. It works really, really great. I'm going to have to find out the name for it and put it down below. I do believe in the K18 Molecular Repair Hair Mask, the leave-in. Um, K18 does not come with the conditioner because that is their conditioner. And I also love doing the Olaplex treatments. So for my clients who get a lot of color, I do recommend the Olaplex treatments. You have the yellow bottle, and it's a concentrate, and you pour just a bit in water and then you soak the client's hair with that and you put it in a cap and you put it under the dryer and it penetrates through the hair shaft and i believe that works just amazing for my clients any of my clients that has damaged hair from like other stylists or like at home box dye i do recommend that treatment every so often and it makes their hair amazing another treatment that i really really like is the brazilian blowout b3 treatment I think it's called B3, right? I believe so. If not, I'll put it down below. I always just call it the Brazilian Blowout Bonding Oil. You mix it with a demi-permanent conditioner that Brazilian Blowout sells. Man, it smells strong in here. I was about to sneeze. And then you mix the oil with that and you do one pump and then you do, I believe it's an 18th of an ounce, it tells you on the bottle. And then you put it in your hair, it penetrates your hair shaft. And it works similar to the Olaplex. It's just different chemicals. So it works just a little bit different. I recommend doing both of those. Rotating one Olaplex, one uh, Brazilian Blowout treatment. One Olaplex, one this one. And it works absolutely great. It's not a Brazilian Blowout, but it's through the makers of Brazilian Blowout that they make that bonding treatment. So if you do anything to break the structure of your hair, which is the bonds in your hair, like coloring, chemical services, um heat services when you flat iron your hair you're breaking the bond in your hair that keeps your hair either wavy or curly or whatever you're reconfiguring that hair structure eventually you can like burn your hair or stay straight you don't want to do that i would recommend getting like a Brazilian law if you decide to go on the straighter route but i absolutely love those for my color services if you come to me and you want to cover your grays. I absolutely love Matrix. Matrix, you can plop it on your client. You can leave it for 20 minutes, even though it's like a 45 minute color. And it just works so good and it penetrates through the hair shaft where you can get away with leaving it on for 20 minutes. They also make a gray coverage line that is a 10 minute gray coverage. So if you're letting this person process with their foils, you can do a great coverage within 10 to 20 minutes. I absolutely love their color line. Um, I recently did try a lot of their toners. Their toners work really well and they are true to their color. They're not going to oxidize or overtone. For other toners, I like Redken. Redken works really great. Um, I also like Pulp Riot. I just recently got into their toners and I did this girl. I bleached her hair, did this toner. And I believe it was called silver and the other one was called like icy something. Most beautifulest silver tone that I have ever got so quickly on a toner. It was absolutely beautiful and that was from Pulp Riot. They are on the more pricier side when you come to color. I believe it's like $9 a tube. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So when I use bleach, I normally use Swatch Pots or I use Matrix. Or I use Wella Blonde or, or I use the Redken one. Those are my top four bleaches that I absolutely love. I've never tried certain other bleaches because I haven't really seen people use much of them. So I just try what is popular that most stylists that I watch use. I would like to try the Kenner bleach. And I want to try the Pulp Riot bleach. Because I like their toners, so like they, they can't have bad bleach, you know? So I really would like to try that. And um, let me try to think. For styling, okay. 
I use Matrix for styling. I use a lot of their sprays. I also use a lot of Kenra styling products. And I use Chi for the heat oils. I do use Chi for the heat oils. And for curl cream, I'll either use Innocence or Chi has a black Chi seed or something like that. A black Chia. It's a hemp one, I believe. It's some black something seed oil that it's a gel, but it's not a gel. It's kind of like a gel, but it's for curls and it's like a curl cream, but it's a little bit more on the gel consistency, but it's not gel. So that one works amazing too. I absolutely love it. And for my tint brushes, I normally use Framar. Um, I recently got into the combs instead of having a weave you just pull up but a lot of times i do like to weave because i feel like you can customize it more as opposed to a generic you put the comb and then you push up on the comb and you pull down on the hair and it separates the highlights for you that one works really great if like you're trying to do a highlight in a split second but if not and you're trying to make it more customized weaving and doing those techniques also work as well they're great for hair brushes, I always recommend the Denman brushes for curly hair so they can help formulate their curls and form it and whatever. And then I also always recommend wet brushes. The way their brush flexes, it prevents less breakage. I always recommend my clients to not brush their hair when it's wet because when your hair is wet, it has more elasticity to it. So you're more likely to rip your hair out of your head when it's wet versus dry. And that's pretty much it I have for this video. If you like this video, give me a like, give me a share, give me a comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you would like to see. I really hope you like this. I'm going to be doing the next video will be Brazilian Blah. So please stay tuned. Bye.